things have been going very good today how good um that good pull up as soon as we start the podcast and hit something nail something come on man we are recording and i'm pretty sure everything's working right again this is unscripted so basically men when we turned 18 man i'm telling you i was so caught up and so like i was so damn so damn no i thought i knew it all man even my image i was talking about that the other day my image i thought that i was um thought i had it all figured out thought i was like man you look cool you look fly you this you that um turns out when i go back and look at them pictures i'll be like what the hell like come on i'll be like bro you you look like you look foolish you thought this shit was hard you know how them girls used to wear them capri suns them capri sun purses like come on knock it off we don't we don't forget shit like that you know and we can all agree and look back at time and be like this was some bullshit we fell for some we got clown we was we was walking around wearing capri sun as creative as it may have been we can look back and say that wasn't the mood to go i must i must say that um and point that out yeah but um damn it Turns out we was not right. We thought we knew it all. Turns out we didn't. And that's perfectly fine. That happens. That's called that's a lesson learned. But um Me and my boy Elite, we were just talking, man. We was talking about how literally where I'm at playing this basketball, this happens to be, you know, like future studio. Futures. And it's funny because me and him both got within this free band circle coincidentally from the same location and it's, we're talking six seven years later and it's a full circle you know how they say things going full circle it's pretty crazy when i left west virginia i told people i was going to go down here and sign with either free bands or grand hustle that's what i said when i left west virginia i really said that and within maybe two years i had met casinos i mean futures brother casino at a t-mobile store man and Next thing you know, I'm backstage with Drake and Future at Summer 16 tour in Atlanta. You know, both nights. Like, uh, I said it was going to happen. And then here we are even later at another stage, an opportunity to do something. And I'm like, man, it's crazy how bad I wanted it then versus how I kind of want that now. Because it's like the times have changed. I can't try to stick the dreams you might have set in when you was a kid you didn't count on your dream transitioning into something else because time don't stand still for no my nobody and everything like everything transition you i don't care if you what what, what jobs are robots taking now ai that's what i'm saying whatever jobs the ai is taking on imagine if you love that and you work so hard and then boom a robot comes and take your job that's what i'm saying like dreams have to change you it's damn near it's only a few dreams i would say that are set in stone and can't no, nothing change but for the most part what you probably thought you wanted to be when you was a kid think about it if it doesn't land on that list of timeless things to be you know what i mean you pretty much you put you gambling it all you putting every, all your chips in one bag basically but i'm hitting all these shots all alone. Blazed up, booted up. You can be, when we young, man, it's good to get your heart broke when you young. Go ahead and get that heartbreak in, fella. Get it in so you can realize how these girls really, before you end up messing around, get married, and then get your heart broke. Cause we all know what happens then. We all know if that happened, man, that be them motherfucking killers, nigga. Cause they grown and they on some like yo that liquor's involved and I get your little heart broke as a kid you're gonna be just fine hey man he right man get your heart broke young man while you um got time to recover because once you're a grown man your heart get broke you got the money you already out thinking you know what bro listen that shit gonna rock your little world you ain't gonna be ready for it and when it hits you 
It's always to the niggas that don't think it can happen to them and guaranteed you, bro. When it happens, you're going to really find out who you are. That's all I can say. You turn into another type of folk, man. You turn into a different type of person. But that's why I like, I like heartbreak. Because I'd be like, I couldn't imagine being one of these fellas that never got his heart broke. Can you imagine that? Could you imagine that? Knowing what heartbreak is and how women, how women can break your heart and even how men can break women's heart, you know, vice versa. But I'm just talking from my, you know, my standpoint. From a man, that, that deception from a woman is awakening. That type of shit right there, you'll never forget about it. It will become a new ceiling. It will be something that you compare everything else to. You will be like, yo, it is a new ceiling. This type of pain, this type of hurt, I ain't felt like this. I ain't think I would ever do no shit like this. Yeah, that's a different type of um, different type of hurt. And once you experience it, it would be a new, like I said, it's the ceiling. When they say they raised the bar, that will be the bar. Yeah, a heartbreak, whew, that type of pain and betrayal. And that's why when people, I feel like, it's so quick to cut people off is because they done seen some deceptive shit. That's all it is. They done seen some deceptive shit to the point where if they see a little bit of ounce or a little too much of that shit that I'm noticing in you, this tasted too much like that. Oh, no, I don't want it. Last time I ate it, my, th my stomach was fucked up. Couldn't sleep. Niggas had diarrhea or something. Like, come on, knock it off. Knock it off. Um, but yeah. I do. I, I truly feel like uh, truly feel like you need to get that heartbreak in, man. It's a crucial stage in your life. That is the that is the ultimate disappointment. I'm telling you, getting your heart broke got to be the that's the inevitable ultimate. Yeah, that's it. I would have to say that's it, man. But. Oh, it's so necessary. It's so necessary, man. It turns you into a man for the boys. It turns you into a woman for the girls. That heart breaks. She'll see what it really is. He'll see what it really is. That's just what it is. Best advice I would give anybody that was 18 years old. 18 years old, a man a boy becoming a man in that era, that boy to man era, okay? That is a crucial era, I would say, for all the dudes out there, man. And let's, let me start off by, by what I observe from the people I've hung out with, right? And I've surrounded myself with, is that yes, one of the big drawbacks from growing up is women. It is gonna be women. The two, I would say, is the fast life. And I know I sound like unk or some old nigga saying it, but I'm telling you, the fast life, like, the easy, desirable, like, come on, rich, famous, all the money, all the girl, like, the, the, come on, the, the, the obvious shit, the most obvious uh, uh, attractive shit to us, man. Yes, we want to be rich, famous, had the money, because that's what the world presents on us. So, yeah, but... Let's say you ask, let's say you get what you ask for. That's why I tell people, get people what they ask for. If they really are asking for it, give it to them. You see people with all this faith and things changing their life, that's what they tell you. You gotta speak that shit into existence. You gotta be the one to actually try it and do it, right? So you got to get out there, get on your own, you know, try to make it happen, you know, uh, but give, let's give it to them. Let's give them everything they want because you never really know if that's what you want till you get it. You understand that? You might see something be advertised so much times. It might be a burger. It might be some food or something that you just seen advertised. They advertise it over and over in the middle of your Netflix. Every episode. They stop your fucking episode to show you this thing. And you say, all right, you know what? I think I do want it now. You go get it and you don't like it. You go get it and you don't like it. Um... You go get it, you don't like it. Damn. I fucked up. I lost my train of thought. I got started looking. I heard something. I'm like, hold up. 
But uh, yeah, let's just say you go get it and you don't like it after they advertise that shit to you, right? And I feel like you apply that, that little scenario to everything. You might want all that stuff. It might look good. It might. They told you it was good. So your expectations, your standards are what you when you buy into this and you go get it and then it ain't what it seems. And what's crazy is a lot of these people get in these positions and they tell us this shit is not what it seems. It's not like that's why you got to make sure you in it for the actual act and not the look of it. You got to be in shit for the actual act and not just how shit looks, because if you really in it for the act, like you'll be able to transcend and do and always do it like. People play basketball, old NBA people who retired, and they still play basketball, even though they know it ain't for money. Ooh, let that air conditioner yeah, eat up. But people still play basketball, even though if it ain't for money. And why is that? It's for the love of the art not the look so you got to separate that i would say if you was growing up 20 20 years old to your 30 years old that's something you want to put in the um you definitely want to consider that make sure whatever you get into you love the art of it i would say and get better at the art and learn everything around that art how that art is even able to be an art what else what is the foundation of that art i would say look into that that's going to definitely be something that you can't go wrong with, you know, because there's a lot of things that's already established. Let's be real. When you get out here, there's going to be people already. They got a monopoly on some type of business and all that stuff. So really now you being coming in this age with all the technology and everything that everybody knows now. Yeah, it's going to get a little bit harder. It's going to get a little bit harder, especially um, against the foundation wealth. The Walmarts and all that, you know what I mean? The, I'm thinking big names, you know what I mean? They, they're going to be, their families is going to be amongst the world. Last name, Walmart or something, whatever. Whatever the name, I don't know if I'm right about that, but as far as the last names, but I watched their story and it's two people and they making a lot of money. Fuck it. That's what I'm saying. So without generational wealth, man, you got to be a dog, bro. You got to, you got to come out the gate. You got to come out 18 through 30. Like, I don't give a fuck about no bitch. I don't care about no women. I ain't tripping on none of them. That, like, I had that in my mindset type shit. Like, cause I knew my image was never, I knew what it was going to take for my image to fully develop. I was, I knew, you know what I mean? That stage from when you plant a seed, then they got that phase where it's rough and it's ugly and all that stuff. Then at the end, it's just beautiful. And it's like, oh, this is what we market. This is what we go sell. This is what people buy on Valentine's Day. Yeah, it takes time. You got to plant that seed. It's going to harvest as long as you feed it what it needs. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing overnight except the fucking, um, what is it? Bamboo. Yeah, that shit can grow like four or five feet overnight. You know, but... A bamboo versus a rose. That's my point. That's what I'm trying to point to y'all. Cash. Damn. But yeah, that's going to work out. Don't get it. Don't get it twisted. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a nice point. Turn around, hit a game winning jump shot. Yeah, it's going to happen. Um, but yeah. Ooh. What else? What else? What else? What else I got for y'all? Uh, let's talk about the fast life. You can't get... um. You can't get too caught up in the fast life either. The fast life will dog you every time. You know what I'm saying? You you say you this is what you want, man. You wanted the fast car. Man, eventually life gonna give you a fast car. You go get a little simple job, it's a, it's a, it's easy to go do that, bro. You can get you a fast car with the loud engine. Been there, done that. But I'm telling you, when you do that and you realize, damn, I'm just another nigga with a fast car, not even that is enough to sell you. Not even that is enough to sell your whole image and all that getting a fast car. It's not enough to even sell you. You got to, you got to be more than that. It got to be in you, not on you, as I always say. It got to be in you. Can't just be on you. It's good when it's on you. But when that shit ain't in you, don't you feel betrayed? Don't you fucking feel betrayed? You go and expect some shit. They done made it look so damn good. And then you get it and it's just, What? This one motherfuckers lined up for around the block. Like, you the only motherfucker that might not be in. You, you scared you the only one that's not impressed. Like, y'all still buying this shit? This what the fuck it was? Like, come on. 
Knock it off. And I feel that way about feel that way about clubs too. Shit. 30 apart. 30 a piece to get in. What? 300 for the set. Nigga, I ain't even sat down in this bitch. I don't even know if I like this motherfucking place or not. I don't even know if the DJ gonna play my song tonight. For what? I'm like, this was y'all still falling for this shit? For what? Nigga, you be better off buying stocks every time you think you want to go to the club. Nigga, that's going to pay off way more than a section ever would. And I don't think nobody can argue me on that. I think that's a bit. Anybody that argue, anybody that argue with about that point, that's was them allowed kids. The allowed kids. Like, nigga, they not allowed to stay at my crib. Nigga, they not, you not allowed to go over there. Have them over. I grew them in the allowed kids. And who and check on the allowed kids. Somebody should. I mean, if them niggas ain't, hey, them allowed kids, where the fuck are they at? How are they doing? Cause they damn sure. Well, they damn sure don't walk around with it. Like you wouldn't even know. You wouldn't even know if you run a allowed kid. Like, I wasn't allowed to hang out with this motherfucker when I was little. My mom said, hell no. This nigga wasn't allowed to stay over the house. He be stealing. This nigga wasn't allowed. Like, come on. Knock it off. Knock it off. I'm getting drunk off this motherfucker. Damn. Cash. All right, back in my mode. But yeah, them allowed kids something else, ain't it? Them allowed kid, like, nah, them motherfuckers ain't allowed over here. And you ain't allowed to be around them. And they ain't allowed to do Like, come on. I was probably one of them allowed kids. And I'm doing just fine, by the way. Before y'all think I'm taking the high road, like, I'm better. Nah, nigga, I was one of them allowed kids. Fuck you talking about? I was one of them. Hell yeah, I was stealing. Hell yeah, I was lying, sneaking, plotting, scheming. I was all of it. I yeah. Why well, know something about it? That's why these niggas can't scam me. And they're like, bruh, nigga, I thought those thoughts already on somebody. Ain't there something? We think something new under the sun. It's very rare something new is under the sun. And it might not have been. Well, I would say it's probably not, but probably ain't nothing new under the sun, honestly. It's probably been done before, just under different terms. Nobody did it like, that was a left hand, by the way. Nobody did it like, um, there we go. I'm about to say, I'm going to hit one of them. They might not have did it the exact same way, but you can damn sure it's been done before. Guarantees you that. Guarantees you that. That's what I'm talking about. But yeah. Woo. I would say as you're growing up as well, be cautious of who you're trying to please. Cause it's easy to get lost in that. Um, you might be trying to prove this person wrong or this parent wrong or this hater wrong. You might be. But then in the same time, you might be trying to prove something to yourself and you end up lying to yourself. You trying to be this person, do this, and all that. You might be fighting. Like you ever, has somebody ever told you you're something? And the fact that it might be true, you would fight it. And then you spend a lot of time just trying to prove them wrong. That is an enormous waste of time. I'm just telling you that from somebody who has probably did that before. Trying to prove somebody wrong. Just one part, all these people on earth. You wasting your time on proving one person wrong. Just one. Why not prove the world wrong? Why not prove ev or who you consider everybody? Why not prove everybody wrong? Why would we try to prove one person wrong and go through so much 
fucking trials and tribulations. Go through, I'm sorry for cussing, but go through so much pain, so much nights of hard work and just to prove one person wrong. It's not that serious. The only one person you should be trying to prove wrong is whoever is yourself. If you ain't think you can do it, prove it to yourself. That's the only motherfucker you should try to prove wrong. Prove yourself wrong. Because you got that good angel and that bad angel. That bad angel will tell you you can't do it. The good angel telling you you could do it. Yin, yang, up, down, in, out. Trust me. I'm telling you. So you got to... That's what you got to do. That's what I'm saying. I don't remember what I said right there, but that's what you got to do. That's what you got to do. Prove yourself wrong. That's what I said. Prove yourself wrong, man. Because we all had them thoughts. Thinking, telling ourselves we can't do something. We've all done it. Hey, I can't run up this hill. Coach say, yes, you can. You run up the hill. Now, look, that belief has changed because you've seen it, that you actually could do it. So prove yourself wrong. That's just an example that you can count yourself out on a small scale. I can't do that. Then you do it and it's like, oh, damn, I can do that. I didn't even know I could do that. You see what I'm saying? Prove yourself wrong. If that's the one person we're going to prove wrong, so we're going to spend all this time and we're going to prove myself wrong. I know I can be better. I know I can be better. Or, or if you're telling yourself anything negative, prove yourself wrong. That's what I say. And this is cash. Prove yourself wrong, motherfucker. Cash. Uh. I'm nice with it like that, man. I'm nice with it. Hold on. Told you I was a little bit wavy. Oh. Thought that was the moon. Um. Oh, what else I got for you? What else I got for you? Now I ain't gonna lie to you. If I was looking at myself, looking at myself, 18 years old to my 32 year old body, what would I tell him? I would tell him Ooh, that's a deep one. I guess I would start with by saying we were somewhat right. We were somewhat right. We didn't we didn't quite know it all and how everything was going to play out. But if I was to tell you anything, I kind of wouldn't tell you nothing to myself because I wouldn't want to just blow it and, and ruin the surprise. But to be on another note, I would say, when you really think about it, it's hard. Like, what would I say if I only had 30 seconds to say something to myself when I was 18? Um, probably would have said, go to college and play basketball for sure. I probably would have said, go to college and play basketball. I would not regret not moving to Atlanta in this current moment. Nah, go to Atlanta. You always knew you was going. Go to Atlanta. I would say if you didn't finish school at West Virginia, maybe finish your school in Atlanta, but not for educational purposes at all. For networking purposes. You're in a new state. The best place to go and find and build a network and all that would be college. If you were or between that age of 18 to 24, even 26, you ain't got your degree, go to school then and build your network because you're right you're going to fit in you're going to be right there and you can build with people that's going to be a good option for you um i wouldn't say stop doing music because i'm listening to the music like you got to do the music but you also got to do i mean from from me to 18 man i done been a car salesman a phone salesman i sold houses i'm doing appraising houses i done serve more I done been an electrician when I had to, man. I done been a painter when I had to. Like, listen, I done did everything and I done did anything to survive out here. And it takes some time. This is my 10th year here, so I'm finally getting comfortable 
at being at finding who I am in Atlanta and how I can work. And sometimes it takes time if you're not already built. I come from West Virginia. Okay, I wasn't built. I wasn't raised in a big city with all these people and knowing all this and seeing people like me with my I wasn't that's another reality. Helicopter going by. Oh, that's a plane. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I forgot. Damn, that was with the left, too. But yeah, I don't um, I don't regret coming here, man. I don't regret doing that because it takes time. It takes time to find out where you're able to be um where you're able to be useful and resourceful, man. And it takes time, man. You gotta build some networks. But to anybody that's trying to move to another city, man, the best places I would say that you could the best places I could say you could go and work is something like a you got to learn sales sometimes in your life. You just got to, man. You got to be able to talk to random people, break them boundaries that you don't want to cross. You got to know how to, I'm going to be honest with you, you got to know how to look at somebody, find out what they're willing to spend their money on, and get that money from them. That's what it is, because that tells you about society and what people need. It's like, okay, I've had this amount of people coming up for this one thing. Go start that business for them and be a solution to their problem. And I'm not saying, I'm just saying as every man, you got to be, you got to identify the problem. What, what are people willing to spend money on? If you want to survive, you got to answer that question. What are people willing to spend money on that's sustainable and that is a necessity and it's essential? What is it? Because once you figure it out, go do that. You'll never go out of business. If you want the short, simple answer, do something where, they, where everybody needs it. And there's so many things to choose from. But when you got a dream... And you go when, when you when you moving on a dream or a purpose, you know what I mean, versus taking a conventional route. Yes, you going you got to have hope, faith. You probably got to you probably not supposed to have fear, but you got fear of not making it, of not making it happen. So you got all these things. It's just different. So this is for the dreamers. I hope you listening and you're like, OK, I'm taking this in. I need to be able to be skillful as I grow within these 28. I mean, this 18 to 28 or 30 range or whatever because that's what the video was it was something to 828 he said but i'm saying all the way up to 30 man you got to build yourself if you do not build yourself who gonna do it if you ain't gonna build yourself who gonna do it if you 30 years old and you still can't change your tire you ain't even, you got a car you got 10 cars but you don't even know how to do an oil change like are you serious that's like a nigga to say he a rapper got a world-class studio but he record once a month like, nigga, are you serious? Are you serious about what you do? You feel me? You're going to ask them folks the same question. You're going to look at them like, bro, are you serious about what you're doing? You got a world-class studio and you call yourself a rapper, but you record once a month and it's bullshit. Like, are you serious? Come on, knock it off. Knock it off. I was going to give another analogy. It's not even worth it, though. But yeah, come on. Are you, are you really about this? Like, come on, if you, you owe it to yourself, to invest in yourself, educate yourself, and do all that, but you 30 years old and you ain't got no skills. They ask you to paint, you don't even know to lay down the little blue tape, the little, just to keep, make sure you don't paint on nothing. You don't even know the liner, whatever. What? What you mean you 30 years old and don't know how to cook? That's a necessity for every human being. Everybody should know how to cook. That's why I be tripping when they say, oh, women need to be able to cook. Man, you should be able to cook, too. Something. Warm up something. You know what I mean? Hit Publix, get that little $6 rotisserie chicken. Knock it off, man. Go in. Like, we can, damn near, we, it's some shit at 30. You should be like, you know what? If people don't have the know how to do these things, like, you know how far behind they are? And like, like, come on, you got to be able to fend for yourself. And maybe not, that might not apply to everybody, but I'm saying, 
anybody that's my age or something, I'm going to look at them like, if something I see as common sense ain't there, I'm going to be like, oh, you was one of them allowed kids. You was one of them damn allowed kids too, huh? But you ain't ever transitioned out of that shit. I transitioned out. I was a loud kid, but I transitioned out. I told y'all that. Oh, but yeah, an allowed kid, an allowed kid. What's next? What's next? What's next? Man, this audio better be right. I'm telling you. Or we wasted our time tonight. Either or. I am a okay. A okay with it. A okay, a okay. All right, new angle. Who this? Yeah, y'all know what it is. I'm hot. I done been shooting for like 10, 15 minutes for no reason. Hope it ain't my car. I don't think it is, but yeah. Let's close out, right? Let's close out. Um, what can I tell y'all about yourselves? If you 18 to 28, what should I tell you about yourself right now? I'm going to tell you, you're probably extremely confident. If you got that trait, that's a good job for you. If you are extremely confident and you in that 18 to 25 or whatever, you're extremely confident, that's exactly how you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be like that. But what's also supposed to happen is you're supposed to get proved wrong. And what's supposed to happen is you're supposed to realize that that is a test. And then you're supposed to pass that. You got to get over yourself. Because when we grow up and in this phase, we're trying to find, we actually trying to be who we wanted to be when we thought we was in our teenagers, right? It only makes sense. If you're a smart person, you can agree that. If you was 15, you had a vision for yourself at 20 or 25. You said, when I get older, I'm going to be like this. I'm going to drive this. I'm going to, okay, you had a vision for yourself. But at 25, you realize that that is just who you want it to be, which goes to my point earlier. Until you get what you want, you don't even know if it's actually what you want. Like I said, you might get that girl, you might get that car, you might get that this, that, but it's not what you thought it was. So you don't want that. You know what I mean? And as a man, you got to, you're in that, you're in that stage. You're going to go through it. You want it to be this. Then you got there. So get rid of your ego. You got to. You got to get rid of that ego. And be realized that you're going to be proven wrong. And that some other people are going to have the answers. That's what I would tell you. Other people are going to have the answers. And everybody that you may see as competition, instead of competition, collaborate with them. Or at least try to. You got to get out there and you got to try to try to work with them. Some people don't got the same mindset. So they're not going to try to work with you. And you got to be cool with that. You're going to realize the person you was trying to be ain't even really who you want to be no more. Once again, referring to that person that you're trying to please, that one person, it should only be yourself. Whether you're trying to prove them wrong, prove them right, however way you want to flip it, listen to me. Which, what you want to be at your teenager years, right? Unless it's something that we can see it's long term and ain't going nowhere. Not like it's far, but as far as materialistic things, you want to have this, you want to drive this, you want to. That's a dead dream. That's something I call a dead dream. You want to be rich, you want to be famous, you want to have cars, you want to have women, all that. Let me tell you, you can get all of that doing ordinary shit. You can get that extreme shit mastering the ordinary shit: air conditioning, lights, material to build homes. Real estate. Come on. You see what I'm saying? You don't have to go for the loudest, most shiniest shit in the world. Most of the time, once they get it, they realize, damn, y'all lied to me. This ain't shit. This ain't shit. This ain't shit. That's what y'all said. Once you finally got it, what lesson did you learn in that scenario? That's what I want to know. What lesson did you learn in that scenario? That should have told you that. Man, this world will show you one thing and it really be a whole completely different thing. So you got to, through your 18 through 28s, don't be so confident. Don't think you know it all because I promise you, you probably don't when it comes down to it. You probably don't know it all. 
You're 18. You're 15. You're, you're 20. You think you know it all? It's people 100 years old, but this 20-year-old knows it all. And I get it. Let's just say you're that radical. You're that one that slips through those cracks and becomes a genius in the next whoever, Mark Zuckerberg, Elon Musk, any other tech that was like, nah, this is right. I'm on to something. I'm smart. Okay, cool. Got you. Einstein, you. All right, cool. Right? But let's just say you're wrong. And you're just trying to prove other people wrong. Don't this, does that sound right? Instead of trying to prove yourself right or something like, that's just wrong. I'm doing this to shit on these niggas. Like, I get it. Trust me, I get it. But if the only reason you're doing it is to shit on them niggas, knowing you could shit on them niggas, like, is it even worth it though? Are you playing them or are they playing you? Maybe they like, I know all this time he would go and try to prove me wrong, realizing I already knew he could do it and I don't even care. I just wanted to see him waste his fucking time on something else. And over here, I didn't want him in this Bennett. Like, yo, that way you gotta do what's for you. Somebody might be playing you this whole damn time and you might be thinking like, damn, I'm gonna prove them wrong, do this, get that and all that. And you only want it because the other person wanted it and y'all was in the competition to get it and realize you get it and realize, damn, this shit ain't even want. So what you go, go to that dude and be like, bro, this ain't, I know you want it too. You might be mad at me, jealous is that, but you don't want this shit. You don't, you don't want this shit. I'm telling you, it ain't shit, it's bullshit. Come get it, come get the fame, the this, that, that, it ain't shit. It really ain't. You know what that mean? You can't eat in peace. You can't go do nothing regular. You can't do, yeah, you gotta move at a certain standard because the public now views you as somebody who does such. That's what you put on. That's the show that you put on and sold to them. So when they come and get they burger from you, when they come and get whatever is more, you've been marketing them and they buy into you, what they gonna say? This shit ain't what I thought it was. You know what I mean? Come on. This ain't what I thought it was. This is not what I thought it was. I thought this dude was this, that, that, that. Now he done got it and realized that it ain't what it, it seems. And he been advertising that to us and then we buying to him. Do you see how that just keeps on going down the line? It's going to take two or three generations to be like, yo, we're reversing this. It's actually going this way now. Think of stock. One stick can't do it. Nah, you need a couple of them to swing up. They'll be like, okay, let's buy into this thing. If it's been going down and then you get one up, then it start going down again. You get one up, then start going. That motherfucker need to go. Oh, this is something different. Everybody's changing. Everything is switching up right now. You feel me? Whew, I'm on it today. I'm on it. Cash. I told y'all that was going to happen. I'm approval point and hit a shot. Yeah. Um. But it ain't even what we thought it was. And we out here putting our all into this shit. We put our all into it to try to prove other people wrong. And is it that serious? I guess that's what I'm saying. Is it really that serious? That we gotta, we gotta sacrifice this, sacrifice that just to prove these folks wrong, just so we can show them we did it, just so we can shit on them niggas, just so we can go and just blow my life. Bro, how is your relationship with your family? How is your relationship with your kids? Who are you inspiring, motivating, helping? You know, who do you praise in this world? Who is your server, savior? Who is your, like, which, which way are you leaning, bro? Because you just out here at this point doing shit. You just doing shit. Not what I see. A lot of motherfuckers just doing shit. Really no purpose. All the points to be proven are petty. All the points to be proven are petty. You see what I'm saying? I got the shit under them. So what, bro? Nigga, are you healthy? Is your mental health good? Nigga, do you got life insurance? What's your credit score? Like, these is the real... Yo, niggas ain't flexing the right shit. If I had an 800 credit score, I'd be flexing that shit every podcast, nigga. I'm telling you. Every podcast, I'll be putting an 800 credit score in front of y'all face, nigga. I pay shit back. I am responsible. Niggas can loan me a billion dollars today. They gonna get it back, nigga. I'm that nigga. Like, yeah, I'll be flexing that in front of y'all. I'm healthy, nigga. I just got my blood test, nigga. I, they said my type of blood and health is rare. They said, nigga, I'm 
I'm 40, nigga. They said they thought I was 13. Come on, knock it off. That's the right shit to be flexing. That's that. That's that. No matter how much money you get and earn, you'll pay all of it for that type of motherfucking flex, nigga. To be able to flex like that. Yeah. You old motherfuckers eating babies and shit. Yeah, whatever. Drinking their blood. Whatever happened. Whatever they said. It's Halloween. I ain't say it. Somebody else said it. Shit. Somebody else said it wasn't me. Deal with it. But yeah, young man, I will tell you, don't fall for it, man. Don't fall for the fluff. It's going to be a lot of fluff out here. These folks are going to be pumping that shit up. They're going to be pumping your head up. Though I said they're going to pump your balloon with so much bullshit. You might be up there forever. You might be up there for 10 years before you come down and be like, y'all mother... Wasn't shit up there. Y'all nigga tricked me. Y'all pump my pump my balloon up with all this bullshit and it ain't nothing real. Ain't nothing to really talk about. That's crazy. I hope my um mic is good though. Yo. Yeah, yeah, it look good. They done pumped your head with some bullshit. Pumped your head up. I think I might get steak and shake tonight. Yeah. Steak and shake, I ain't had that in a minute. But yeah. Young man, young man, young folk. I know what you're thinking of. I know what you, I know where, I know where you're headed. You want the jewelry, the diamond, but man, it's true, bro. You got to be able to get that shit without all that shit. Imagine if you was that nigga that could. Or that person, whoever watching this. Imagine if you was that person that could get all of the girls you want, all the cars you want, all without trying to look like somebody. Like, just saying. Yeah, this dude might have the cars and all that, but it's like, bro, you could have them. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with being the dude that could do it, but don't do it? That's what I'm saying. They could have all the jewelry. Could have all the cars, flex all the houses, have all the girls. What if you could still get all that, but you don't even want to? I'm just saying, who's a little bit more powerful in that situation? Because one of them is feeding off what, what that type of attention and materialistic things can bring. One's feeding off that, one's not. Who's more dangerous? I want to know. Cash. Come on. Because I ain't lying. Cause I'm not good lying. You feel me? Cash, I'm not lying. Nah, I'm messing with you. I blew on purpose. Cash though. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. I figured this shit out, man. Life is literally what you make it. What you want it to be. What you want it to be. If you speak it, it'll come true. If you search for it, you'll get it. You will. Whether you like the churches or not, they've been saying that and they've been right. If you want it, you'll get it because you'll go do things that'll make you get it. It's real simple. It's real simple. Oh. Young people, young people, what do I got to say to y'all, man? Um. Young people, man, you will get, the main thing I want to say to the young folks is, bro, you will, guess what? I'm a thousand percent right about this. Guess what? You will age. So you better watch how you treat, like, you will age. And you will get that karma you deserve when you age. How you treat people. How you talk to people. Your manners for people. How people think, like, it's all going to come back. I know we think we young and we... We, we just forever with it. Like, we are invincible. Yes, that's it. When we was young, we jumped off shit, fell. Felt like we can get back up and just heal and go about. Like, bro, time is going to slow down for you. You got to realize that. And I sound like Unk saying that, but I'm like, ain't nothing wrong with realizing time. Recognizing time and what time can do to some people. How much time you spend doing this? How much time you spend doing that? Like... Time is everything. What you put your time into. It might be people you need to talk to today. You didn't call them. Why? Because you told yourself you ain't got the time. 
it's 24 hours in a day. What Glover say? 365 days in a year. You don't play with me. Like, whatever, man. But listen, it's time. It's 24 hours in a day. You had enough time to do something that probably took five minutes. It was an email you didn't send. It was a call you didn't make. A text you didn't send. You know what I mean? You had time. But you said it's your time. Your time, you're not spending your time on that type of shit. You know what I mean? Everybody said, I ain't spending time on that. I ain't did it. Uh, yeah. So, ex I hate to say accept it, but hey, when you really think about it, yeah, you we, we, we could do anything we want with our time. We could. But if you, if you put all your time in two months into learning a new skill, guess what? You probably know the skill. You probably be damn good, decent at it. Probably, if we're being honest, you probably be decent at the skill, but you won't even do it. Cause time is the dedication, and time is money. That's when it comes in the faith. And my young men, I'm telling you, creative players, you young, bro, y'all should be trying to level up right now. Skills, all the 33 hallmarks of a creative player, y'all need to be working on them. Right now, learning speech, getting your credit up, man. Having ambitious goals, man. Working on your family, doing all that. Like, yeah, because you're going to need people. You're going to need motivation. That family be motivation. You by yourself, you ain't got to be, man, get you a family. Ain't nothing wrong with getting a family. Y'all be so scared to start families. Like, start the family. You found somebody you love. You found somebody you want to be with. Start the family. Because that's going to give you motivation. That's going to be an extra battery in your back. You know, some things work better for people with families. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Start that family. Don't be out here. That's what I would say. Don't be afraid to start a family. If you 18 to that. If you 18 to that 30 range. Don't be scared to start a family. Just know that you wanted to start a family. You had, because everybody's version of happiness is subjective. So this might make, family might make one person happy. And this other owning 10 businesses might make the other person happy and do it like it's just how it work out. So don't be afraid to start a family, I would say, because it could be good for you. You might learn something that, you know, that 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 in that environment and situation may teach you something to where you'd be like, yo, if I didn't have this kid, I would never have been in this position to meet this person and start doing it. Like, you see what I'm saying? So you never know. Don't just be like, I'm not having a kid because I'm trying to be successful. I would say plan it out. Make sure it's what you want to do. Then you can't go wrong because it's your plan as a man. And being a dad or a father to anything, that's going, that's that's different. Being a parent is just different. You understand? And that's what we're here to do most importantly, not chase the dollar and try to be comfortable and do it. We're here to multiply and keep this thing going, trying to make it a better and work amongst each other. Like that's, that's this thing, man, we got going on. It's so diverse. Like we trying to figure it all out. Maybe it'll never get figured out, but even realizing that is a big accomplishment. Realizing that we are here probably to battle against each other and probably to debate against each other. Because what would happen if the world was just perfect? It, honestly, would it even be a purpose if the world was perfect? Just asking. Would it be purpose if the world was just perfect? What would be the reason then? This is like buying a brand new clock, setting the time, putting the batteries in it, and it's just working. You know what I mean? Like, wouldn't be no point in it. Basketball wouldn't be exciting if every single player, somebody just shot the ball and it went in, no matter what. Like, it'd be way less exciting, you understand? But us here, knowing we got the Kamala and Trump debate tomorrow, even that in itself, like, this is prime time entertainment for who's ever created all this. Like, come on, man, this is a, this is a show. So yeah, we're supposed to, they want to know who's going to be the one to change it. They probably betting on us. You know what I mean? Like the Sims. That's why I love the Sims and creative players. I just put them together, man. Like, yeah, all the time. The Sims is a big part of the creative players. Working on your rating. Working on, you know what I mean? Taking care of business. Doing what you're supposed to do to be happy. Cleaning up. All that stuff, man. Yeah. That's cool to think about, though. I'm just saying. I've been talking a lot. We probably hitting about an hour. This is gonna be a long one, but I'm gonna chop it up, try to knock it down. But um Don't be afraid to have a family. If you wanna have a family, man, have that family. You'll be alright. You're gonna figure it out. You're gonna hustle a little harder. You're gonna wake up a little earlier. Have that family. Definitely have that family. Um and then don't have that family. Wrap it up. To some people. Go hear this. 
don't have that family, bro. Like I said, you gotta be, you might have missed that message where I said you do it if you want it and you trying to feed, you wanna have a family, not because you wanna have a baby. That's a big difference. Don't have it because you wanna have a baby, because you wanna have a family when you in that age. Now, when you get a certain age and you attain the level of status that you wanna acquire, if you wanna have multiple, man, do you. But I'm saying, to get to that stage, it's just gonna hold you back and set you back. It's gonna be things that you're not gonna be able to to just understand because you're not in that position. So once you got that and you got to wake up, you got to feed them, you got to do all this and you got to get to work. And then after all that, you got to try to come home and do what you love as a passion. It's going to be tough. So that's what I'm saying. If you can do it because you actually do want that family, that's what you dreamed of. That's been part of your vision for yourself. Like these times are crucial. And I already talk about women. I can go on and on about women. You know what I mean? It's, they're going to be some ones, man that you are going to be scared to get away from or that you might go after and try to go and you not be realizing that whether or not, you know, is is she good for you? You're going to have them doubts. You're going to have them moments. Um, Just get somebody that understands your future, the future you. I would say if you're going to date anybody, seriously, they and you must realize that y'all are both going to evolve and adapt. Y'all are going to change over time. And where you pretty much where you think you're going to be and what you're trying to go to, you're going to adapt those type of characteristics along the way. And she got to know you got to she got to be all right with that. She got to know where it could possibly go, but she loves you for you and she want to take care of you just like you want to take care of her. And that's how y'all progress together. Y'all go down that road together. But knowing things could change, I could change. I could become less ambitious i could be just sit i just might just want to play games all the for the you know what i mean i want to spend 10 hours playing the game just like hey i told you what i could possibly be i told you things i wanted to, you know what i mean things could change so you got to make sure you love the people for you and i guess enough on that yeah girls otherwise leave the hoes alone man knock them off where jimmy don't get no don't go down that route you don't want them problems you don't want the baby route if you don't want a family that's what i'm saying um Hmm. Definitely. You got to worry about credit. You got to work on your credit while you're young. Figure it out. Get you a credit building card as soon as you're 18, man. Uh, as far as college, I would say, man, you got to know why you're going. Don't go for no general bullshit trying to make people happy, trying to be the first one in your family to go to college. Fuck all that. There was a time that that was cool, but now that is not the move. That is not what you want to do if you just want to go just to go. Like I said, if you move into a new city and you started it already, that's what you want to do. Look at him. Oh, that's what you want to do. What you think about college, bro? If you was 18, if you was 18 years old, talking to your son, man, you, you telling him, if he told you he don't know what he want to be in life, you telling him go to college? Me what you got nephew, so yeah, let's use your nephew or your niece. It's 18 years old. She told you she don't know what she want to be. And she said, should I go to college? What you telling her? She don't know what she want to be? She don't know what she want to be. You telling her to go to college get in debt? No. Not yet, right? Wait people money. She got to know what she want to go for. Right. Oh. So many people that, I know a whole, so many people went to college and... They ain't even doing what they even had to go to get a degree for. Yeah. So they still having to pay money back and still ain't even take advantage of what they pursued. True. When T.I. said school is just a white man game, it just ran good. It is. Y'all heard it. Y'all heard E, man. Let's say y'all. Oh. What else do I got, man? I said college, girls, go credit. You definitely got to work on your credit. You got to when you're young. Get on that early. Especially when you financial credit. Financial credit, the key. You can go to college. You get, yeah, well, you have to pay for that, but they should teach you that in regular school in the curriculum. Mm-hmm. Financial literacy. I know, let me mic you up. School. Financial literacy. There you go. He's got to clip it. There Come you on. go. Now they can probably hear you too. Yeah, that's it. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you on. 
But yeah, financial literacy. That's what I already talked about. Women, I talked about making sure you're not proving nothing to just yourself. You know, make sure, I mean, to other people. You know what I mean? Because niggas will go all out their way to prove shit to just three people, one person. I'm trying to prove my dad wrong. I'm trying to prove this person wrong. I'm like, you got to be able to, um, you definitely, you got to be able to realize, like, it ain't worth it. You can't spend your whole time trying to prove one person wrong or, you know, somebody that pissed you off. You it ain't enough time for that. Because, like I said, you got to get it to realize if it's really what you want in the first place. So, right. yeah, but credit, man, that. Ah, oh, man, I've been going, I've been, just, I've been yapping. Literacy. Financial literacy. You got credit, man. You got to have some credit. What else, man? I gotta think of something. I'm trying to figure it out. The cars. Would you say, um, you gotta get that out your system. You gotta get you a whip. Cause you had a Camaro too, huh? Camaro. You think you gotta get that out your system or they can wait? That's gonna be hard telling a young nigga to wait on that, huh? Yeah, it's gonna be hard. If he able to buy, he able to buy a Challenger with the Hemi, you telling me at 20 years old and they ain't buying that shit? It's a wrap. He buying that. Even though the payment's 600 and the insurance 250 he still should buy it. You got to get it out your system, yeah. You got to get it out your system, too, fucking with them women, too. You got to you gotta get it out your system. You going to have to get that out your system. Ain't no way you finally free out in the wild and you just... Uh, uh, disciplined as a motherfucker. Nah, something wrong with you, nigga. <laughs> oh, I said you you supposed to mess up, man. Yeah, you supposed to mess up. Everybody went through it. At the end of the day, everybody individual. So everybody got to go through the phases and the stages. Your dad went through it. You went through it. The phases and the stages. Yeah, I like that. Everybody ain't the same. But I said, bro, 18, moving out here, bro, young. I mean, not eight, not moving out here, but just being 18 these days. Moved out here. I think I was 23 when I moved out here. Might have been 22. Yeah, I was, I was 22. Damn. Nah, nah, nah. Damn. I don't know when I moved out here. I know it was 10 years ago. So 10 years ago, I was 22. So 22. Yep, because my birthday. I moved out here in August, 23. 20, 24 for something, 23rd, yeah. Yeah, something like that. So, yeah, that's why I had to think about. I had to think about, yeah, we moved out here so down. What is that? 10 years ago, bro. Moved out here. What you give uh, somebody, hey. somebody from West Virginia advice trying to move from here out of high school? I told them folks they better. It'd be smart. If you're going to move to a new place, it would it would be smart to think about a college or something just so you can network and meet some people. That wouldn't be bad if you already started college before you left. Yeah, finish it somewhere else. That was my scenario. What about you? You didn't, though. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. You, you, you recommend somebody? But I would. I would tell somebody, go. Yeah, go to it. Go, go to, you know, like a Clayton State or something where you ain't about to go crazy in debt, but you can still get you a good education or whatever, like. Especially if you move in, like I said, you move into a new place. If you want to really figure it, you know what I mean? If you take that local state and don't, don't go too crazy, you can land you an intern or two that might lead you a job when you get out or something. You know, it might not be fascinating or, or nothing like that, but it's still going to be something. And you're going to network and meet people at the campus because it's just a way, good way to get in. I think the problem people have is when they move to new cities and places and then they don't go outside and network with other people. That's the worst thing you can do. Luckily, I was smart enough to go to T-Mobile where you would meet everybody because everybody has a phone. I would say, yeah, if you can get in a cell phone store, do that because you're going to meet too many people. In a good location, a big location, these folks, when they want to upgrade their phone, you're going to see them every single time. So, wireless industry. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Overcoming hesitations, that's it. 
Let them motherfuckers hesitate all they want. You buying this shit, dog. Right. Okay. You don't get it how you want it. What you want with it? Come on, man. I love I love the cell phone story. Somebody come in with a problem and you got to you got to you got to calm them down and then sell them something on top of it. That's crazy. That's crazy. Like I know you mad, but I'm about to I'm about to sell you something else. <laughs> Even though you came in here mad. That's crazy. Oh, your phone screen broke knowing oh damn, you got to pay for this and you got to pay an upgrade fee. And you need this case. I can just, it's gonna be three dollars more on your bill. Or the same thing gonna happen, ma'am. What are you talking about? You came in here with a cracked phone and you're not gonna leave with a case? That tell me you don't learn your lesson. Respectfully, ma'am. Respectfully. And I wouldn't even be a good sales salesman if I let you leave here without a case. That got him every time. Cause I'm like, I'm disrespecting myself right now. Every time. Ooh. Yeah, man. I'm, uh, yeah, 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 moving here. But like I told him, though, I told him your dream can change because think about people that said, I want to do this, I want to do that. But now AI hey, can do it. So now what? You can plan your whole life to be this, but you went to school for it, all that, but now AI hey, do it. Now what? Yeah, that's why I say dreams change, man. Dreams change up. Come on, that was that was Curry esque. There you go. Ooh. Yeah, you gotta really want it out here, man. You gotta you gotta go get it nowadays. That shit ain't so easy. That shit is not so easy. Whatever I'm talking about. I just been yapping, bro. I've been yapping. <laughs>